Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honey Bee Stamps today. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to be making a card using some products from the latest release. We are going to be using the Birdhouse A2 cover die. We are also going to be using the Rooting For You sentiment set along with the matching dies. We'll be using the Hug and Kisses gem stickers. These are brand new, brand new sizes. Love them. We're also going to be using some random cardstock here for cutting out some uh, pieces of the birdhouse. We are also going to be using some paper from the Hugs and Kisses pattern pattern set, pattern paper set, and also the Swirling Leaves cover die. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this cover die and place it onto the card base for the card so that we can go ahead and get that imprinted onto the card base. Now this does not cut out, it only does an embossing onto the paper. So we'll go ahead and get that taped on and we'll go ahead and rub, send that through uh, the die cutting machine. And then once it comes out of the die, die cutting machine, you'll see how lovely this pierced paper is. Take a look at that. So beautiful, I love it. Okay, now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting out the pieces to the birdhouse. We're gonna be using this piece of paper from the six by six paper pad. Now that we have that cut out, I'm gonna use some craft paper here and we are going to cut out the front of the house here. And I'm just place this onto the craft paper. I believe this is Nina Desert Storm, I believe is the paper color. We'll go ahead and get that placed through the die cutting machine. And now because the door has a little bit of um, embossing on it, like wood grain, I'm just going to use a few browns here um, from Distress Oxide Inks to go ahead and get that to show up. I start out with some brushed corduroy, which I find to be too light. And then I move on over to Gathered Twigs, and we try that. And we do get a little bit more here, but I still think it's a little too light. So after rubbing on this a little bit, I did fold the door backwards, so if I did get something on the actual uh, piece it would be on the back of the card so you wouldn't see it in the front and then I decided to go ahead and use some walnut stain here and this is what really made it pop out and you could see the wood grain um, on the door here so just to give it a little bit of texture a little bit of difference between you know the walls or the front of the birdhouse um, just to make it look like a door so now that we have that done we are going to go ahead and use some honeybee stamps glue here and go ahead and get this uh, glued down to the green piece so that we have the house all together. So I'm going to take my big old man hands here and try to get this on as straight as possible as soon as I can get it on and you know don't have to wiggle with it too much. Now we are going to do the little um, I guess these would be awnings, I guess is what you would call them. I'm not for sure what the correct term is for these. But we'll go ahead and put that through the die cutting machine. And then we're going to cut out the doorknob, the hinges, the heart, and what else is here that we have to cut out. Um, I forget what those other two pieces are. Ooh, let's see here. We'll go ahead. Oh, those are the pieces that go on top of the awnings. Sorry. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get all those placed onto the die cutting machine and we'll go ahead and send that through. The heart is on a piece of scrap paper that I had. It has shiny red gel on it. So that's what I decided to use to place onto the birdhouse. Now that we have all the pieces, we're going to go ahead and start putting uh, the, the awnings together. We're going to glue this down and then place it onto uh, the one side here. And then once we get that down, we'll go ahead and get the other piece glued down and get that down. And here we have the first piece. Then we are gonna do the exact same thing for the little piece. We're gonna go ahead and place these pieces down and you will wanna make sure you match them so that the points match because I didn't do that in first and messed up my card so I had to like I cut that out but you know mistakes they happen all the time all right now that we have those two pieces together we're going to go ahead and put some foam tape on the back of the heart now there is an embedded piece or an embedded area on the cardstock to show you where the heart goes so you don't have to do any guesswork. you just stick it where it's supposed to be 
we're going to be using uh, the li uh, light green gemstones uh, from Hugs and Kisses. And we'll place that down. And now we're going to place some foam tape on the awning portions. Go ahead and remove the backing from the foam tape. And we'll go ahead and use our uh, reverse tweezers so that we can place that onto the birdhouse as straight as possible. And you could make so many different birdhouses with this, so many different colors. You could experiment with it. I mean, so many things. So um, we'll go ahead and get this down, make sure it's nice and even before we press. And we'll do the same thing for the little top here. We have that down. We'll go ahead and press it so that it sticks. I could never do that with my big old man hands if I even tried. I, I would be all jacked up. Now we are going to put the hinges on. I did do this with some holographic paper to make it look, you know, metallic, you know, a little cute. And we'll go ahead and put the second one there. The one thing that I did not do that I just realized is there's no doorknob. How's the door open? I forgot to put it on. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp out the sentiment. This is um, from Rooting For You. And it's going to say, Welcome to the Neighborhood. And I'm just, I just used some intense black ink. Um, from Honeybee Stamps there, and we are going to be using the matching die to go ahead and cut out the sentiment. Now you guys, in every video, I say it. If you're new here, you don't know this, but Honeybee Stamps love the sentiment dies. Looks perfect. Every time makes sense. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this glued down and we'll get the card finished. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. We truly appreciate it. Thank you for supporting Honeybee Stamps. Make sure you head over to the website by clicking the links below to view any of the products that I use today. Also, check out Honeybee Stamps over on Facebook and over on Instagram. They have some lovely creations over there. They have all kinds of inspiration that you guys could check out. You can also see me over on Instagram or by searching YouTube for Bromero cards, and you should be able to find me. And yeah, so we are gonna be placing the last piece on here. We're gonna place the sentiment above the door and the card is complete. You could probably add more bling if you wanted to, but I thought this card was perfect. I love it and this is it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you later, bye.